Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to dropship on Squarespace websites in 2024. So today, we're diving into the world of e-commerce, specifically how to set up a dropshipping business on your Squarespace website. So dropshipping is a popular model that allows you to sell products without handling inventory or even shipping. So stick around as I guide you through the step-by-step -step process of integrating a dropshipping business into your Squarespace site. So make sure to stick by and simply let's get started before we start with this video make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience first you'll have to go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with here in my case i'm actually going to use the brave browser and of course in your case it could be any other browser this could possibly have once you open that browser just go to the url section type square sorry so square space dot com and hit the enter button this should take you to the home screen and main screen of Squarespace website. Of course, if you're logged in into your account, you'll find the icon in here. If you don't have an A, if you're not logged in, you'll find the login option instead of my icon here. Or you can even click on Get Started to create a new account to your own. If you don't know nothing about Squarespace, you can simply scroll down to read more information about this website and familiarize yourself with it. You can see what people saying about it. Frequently asked questions, you'll be able, you'll be able to find them. So I'll just open those out. And here, if you have one of those questions, just pause the video and read the answer by your own. And how to create a website, how to sell online, how to start a blog. You can check all of that out. For me, I'll just go here and click on account dashboard to access my account dashboard. And of course, to drop tip on Squarespace websites, you can start by researching and selecting a niche for your dropshipping store. Identify products that have a demand and appeal for your target audience. Consider factors such as uh, uh, profit margins and shipping times and even product quality. And you'll have to look for a reputable dropshipping supplier or platform that aligns with your chosen niche. Most popular option is AliExpress, and of course, uh, Oberlo for Shopify users, example, or other dropshipping marketplaces. You can ensure that the supplier offers quality products, reliable shipping, and good customer service. For example, let's say that you choose AliExpress, so we'll go to aliexpress.com, look for the product that you want. Let's say, for example, I'll go with the home improvement and lighting. This is the niche as example that I will choose. What you'll need to do is look for the product that uh, the price is good on. Let me just change the price to uh, US dollars so we can understand the prices in here. Why not? And as example, as I said, click in here. And yeah, so the price is now is good. As you can see, so you can look for a good product, of course. Uh, free shipping will be very good. If it's not free shipping, it's fine. You can just add the price to uh, the product that you can list, of course, on your website. And you can see for the product with cheap things. And of course, it might be good or it should be good. It's not good. It's not worth even if it's one penny. So make sure to find good products. For example, let's say this is a good product that we found. So just go and click on that. See what people saying about this on the design. Uh, sorry, on the, the reviews. And you can see a lot of people are saying it's good. Some people are saying it's bad. You can or make sure to even read the people that saying it's bad why they're saying it's bad why they give it one star is it just some haters maybe a lot of people just hate uh, they give one star and go they didn't even give a review why they give like uh, the one star so for you just go and check us all why people like read everything else as you can see and see if it's good or not and once you find this is good simply you can go down below and find of course like other products like this if you want to or as an example you can go find here some buyers questions and answers you can see frequently asked questions about this like product specifically products and other than that you'll be able to buy it once you get like added of course to your store and you'll be able to buy it once you get like your order as simple as that of course as an example you find descriptions of the product specifications like custom uh, customer reviews you'll be able to find everything that you want you may also like this i showed you before of course you can click on buy now add cart share like if you want to and you'll be able even to click on the store owner and contact them make sure to contact them if you want if you want to like it's good to contact them if you want to like uh, uh, share a lot of his products on your store it's good to contact them to ask as an example for discount price uh, for shipping options and etc a lot of people uh, will allow you to uh, share those things on their store because it will help them also sell in their products so don't worry about contacting contacting other people or other suppliers 
And of course, uh, once you set up as an example, your Squarespace account, you'll have to go and create a website. Make sure to, for me, I have a website in here. So for you, once you create your website, make sure to have a visually appealing website and or create, of course, your online store. Once you're creating a website, as an example, just go and answer the questions that is provided by Squarespace. Of course, these questions will help you like manage or uh, design your website the way you want. Just answer the questions. Example, they will ask you, what are you building this website for? Just type store or answer store and etc. And of course, they will give you the themes for a store to create your online store right away. Of course, you can, once you like, as an example, have your website, you'll be able to go to pages sections, add a new pages for your online store, as an example, or for products. Use the commerce page. As an example, you can go here to websites. Once you go to websites, you'll find all the pages. You can add new pages. You can add whatever you want. And of course, you can integrate now the dropshipping product that you choose from AliExpress in here. Just integrate the dropshipping products into your Squarespace store. And if you're using a platform like AliExpress, you can import product directly into your WordPress uh, store using the built-in tool or third-party extension. You can ensure like product details, descriptions, images, appealance, and accurate also for that. Of course, if you want to add your product simply just go back home in here click on selling click on products and simply here go and click on add the products and you'll be able to add physical whatever raised products of course if it's a physical product you'll be able as an example let's just wait because they are creating products it's fine so you'll be able to add all the products with images and etc and as i said before let me just go and close that and you can even import products as example from etsy from Shopify from Big Cartel, or you can upload simply the CSV file of the product, and the products will be uploaded right here without any problems. Of course, for example, here if we go to settings, let's check one thing. Yeah, this third party tools. This example will help you if you go to extensions, it will help you. Of course, I guess there's an AliExpress extension. If it's not, it's fine. But uh, a lot of uh, like extensions are paid. As you can see, this one it's paid. So I don't know, let's just type drop shipping. And let's see, so as you can see, you can uh, add those and kind of all of them for free, just those two ones. So AliExpress is not here, it's fine. Of course, you can go and import everything manually without any problems. And yeah, I guess that's basically it. Of course, you can now optimize your products pages and optimize like uh, use the high quality images, compiling product description and clear to call action, create a seamless and user-friendly shopping experience for your visitors and promote your dropshipping store to attract new visitors. Uh, utilize social media, content marketing, and other digital marketing strategies to drive traffic. Traffic. So consider offering pr promotions or discounts. Encourage initial sales. Once you see a lot of people are buying, you can stop them if you want to. And there you have it. You successfully learned how to start your setup, your dropshipping business on your Squarespace website for in 2024. So remember to continuously optimize your store and stay updated on the industry trends and provide excellent customer service. So if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover, just drop it down below in the comment section. I'll try to do it as soon as possible. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.